Moving on now to the coronavirus outbreak here in the U.S. There are more than 100 cases in 14 different states after experts did some more testing. The death toll is going up too. At least six people have died and all of them are from Washington State. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Caitlin Francis is live this morning in the newsroom. And Caitlin, how close to Connecticut are cases right now? Eric and Nicole, they're getting pretty close. New cases of coronavirus in New England and surrounding areas have been confirmed this week. New Hampshire and New York announced their first cases of the virus, while two cases in Rhode Island and a new case in Massachusetts were confirmed. Here in Connecticut, still no confirmed cases. The U.S. Surgeon General says local hospitals are approved for testing. That's as of Friday. Two people have already been tested. Both came back negative. President Trump's reassuring state governors they'll be reimbursed for at least part of what they're spending as they attempt to contain the coronavirus. However, since states immediately surrounding Connecticut have positive cases, health officials are on high alert. They say if we see a case here, large events may be canceled, schools could possibly be closed, and the new this morning, the spread of the virus could even affect the NCAA tournament as the organization's being urged to consider holding March Madness games inside empty arenas. No fans at all. But at this point, there's still no reason to panic. The risk to individuals from novel coronavirus right now is low. Why is that? Well, we know that risk is correlated directly with exposure. You can't get the coronavirus if someone around you does not have it. Some good information. Hand hygiene, one of the most important things to remember to stay healthy. The EPA also released a list of approved cleaning products that includes Clorox, bleach, Lysol, and hand sanitizer. Meanwhile, Vice President Mike Pence announced new screening policies for people traveling to the U.S. from South Korea or Italy. The Pope actually was just tested himself after being seen coughing over the weekend. He was forced to cancel some events, but the results were negative for coronavirus. Live in the newsroom, Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.